Hey guys, what's going on? Um, Chiller to bring you a pretty long tutorial, moderately hard tutorial on how to do a or make a quick intro, about 10 seconds long, and this is going to take a while. Hopefully, I can keep it under 10 minutes, and I hope you like my four script and background. <laughs> so, you're going to start off making a new composition. New. Just make the base 30, that's what I do. You can always make it shorter. The fall you're gonna need the following before we start though. Uh trap code particular and no light factory. So once you made a composition, you're gonna right click at the timeline, new solid. Bring in your solid, it doesn't matter what color you want, whatever. <sighs> Sorry, I did it again. You're gonna need a text. Right click, new text. And once you've done that, you're gonna type in your text. Actually. Yeah. Now, bring use the arrow keys to move it in. You're going to have to make this pretty small. You'll see why in a little while. Just make it about as small as I had. Around there. Try to center it. And once you've done that, what are we going to do? We are going to go to New solid it does not matter what color it is it won't matter in the long run go to um, effects and presets wow can't talk and you're gonna bring in trap code bring in particular to the black solid and make sure the black solid is on top you can see it's white and it's just snowy looking you're gonna go to animation preset wipe star dots it's at the very right of the, when you go to animation presets right up here and once you've done that as you can see it just kinda goes across blah 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 now you're gonna just drag the little circle thingy it's really frustrating this that way it'll go straight across chill effects and then really I'm still pretty uh, novice at after effects you can probably tell um, then you're gonna go to emitter and bring it up okay laggy computer we're gonna go up to about 750 anywhere around there is uh, okay then we're gonna go to particle go to color change to whatever color you want. I like this light blue color. It's pretty homo looking, but once you've done that, you're going to change the color randomness. Don't change it too much, but don't change it not enough. And there you can see it changes the colors up just a little bit. And it just adds a little bit more originality to it. Doesn't make it look bland. And once you have done that, we're going to go back to the chill effects. Bring out your pen tool click on one side of it to the left and click on the other side of it once you've done that we're gonna go over to generate in the effects and presets scroll down to stroke drag it on in once you've dragged it in where it says paint style you're gonna where it says uh, original image you're gonna make it go to reveal original image and it'll make it disappear leaving only your pen tool and your part particular alright now once you've done that drag your brush size up to 50 and this is why you had to make it small. Now you're going to drag your text in to make it big enough. That way it'll fit. Otherwise, see, it won't fit. You dig? Had to. Um, now we're going to go to the bottom of chill effects. Effects, stroke. That's what she said. Um, and we're going to go to the end. We're just going to... Sorry. Wherever it hits like right as it starts to hit the chill effects you want the end to be on zero bring in a keyframe that way as it go through you're gonna go to the very end and right when it gets done right around there bring in the end to a hundred and as you can see it reveals the text and that's pretty much all with that so so far you have this 
it's sweeping across and revealing it. Pretty simple, pretty basic, yet it's pretty good. If you can stop at that if you want, if you don't have no life factory, you can stop now. But now we're gonna bring in another one, new, solid, um, just black, and make sure it's on the bottom. That can mess you up. You're gonna bring in factory, light factory, LE. Bring her on in. You can go whatever you want with whatever you want. We'll just go with light or warm sun flare since it's the first thing that popped up. And if you also want, you can change it to blue. Try it out. Okay. Just randomly didn't save. And there you can see it's the exact same color or around the same color as the um the the particulars particles. Um once you've done that, we're gonna go to the bottom effects light factory. Um at the beginning you're gonna go ahead and key gen it or whatever. Make sure it's way out to the left. You want it way to the left and brightness at zero. Go ahead and turn the keyframes on for that. And whenever that comes in, we're gonna to want to bring the brightness up to a hundred and bring the thing over. You should keep it even with this. That way it'll make it look good. It'll look like it stays with it. And as it goes across, just kind of bring it over. There. You can just see it just kind of stay. If you want to make it hover there, you can do that. And so now you have it going across with the brightness going across. And if you want to do what I did with the X, you'd have to. Uh, I don't feel like doing this. Well, actually, whatever. I'll do it for y'all. Bring in another solid. Seven. Bring it to the bottom. Bring in fact Light Factory LE. You're going to change. Whoa, 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 wee, wah. Go, sorry, guys, go back a little bit. Bring in Light Factory EZ, I guess. Yes. We're going to go to the fraction on the flare type. And if you've seen my the intro at the beginning, you can tell this is, this is what it is, pretty much. All you're going to do at the bottom is... If you want to go into Adobe After, I mean uh, Sony Vegas, and maybe zoom in to around here, that'll help it a lot because I'm crappy. Or you, if you can do it in this, that's cool too. Whatever floats your boat, man. But uh, it's when the part when the particles go away, like when they're out of the picture, we're gonna keep from the brightness, bring it down to zero up until that moment, and for about a second, you're gonna turn the brightness up to 100, and then. Another second later, bring it back down to zero. And it just kind of creates a nice little glow effect at the end. So I'm going to play it from the top. You can see what you've made if you've been following. If you haven't, um, speed up. I don't know. I'm just doing a little preview of it in my Adobe. And if you also want to add in a uh, red glow to the middle, you can do that by playing around with the light factories. And I, I'll try to give you a link. If you've seen my intro, the original one, you can see the link. If you click the link in the uh, description, you can see the uh, tutorial on how to get this. But we don't have much time left, so I'm just going to play it. You can see it goes across. And then it glows in. But... That's pretty much it, guys. Um, if there isn't anything I didn't cover, tell me. If there's a tutorial you want on Adobe, uh, Sony Vegas, blah, 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 go ahead and ask me for it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Shabra, shah.